a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! Kage-san, I only have one more man to send in. So now that you got me cornered, I'm relying on my top secret weapon. This is my man. Even Michiba can't stand a chance. He can beat Michiba, I'm sure. There's no doubt. But if any case he loses, I'll go out myself and beat Michiba. If my memory serves me correctly, Toshiro Kandagawa is absolutely determined to beat my Iron Chef Japanese, Rokusaburo Michiba. In Eastern Japan, Michiba is number one, whilst Kandagawa rules the West. Kandagawa says we only need one champion, and that's why he's a constant thorn in my side, sending in his apprentices to my kitchen stadium as challengers. But so far, none of them has fulfilled their mission, and frankly, I think he's trembling in his boots. So this time he says he's playing his trump card as a last resort, his finest apprentice. And if this man loses, Kandagawa has signed a written oath that he will go up against Michiba by himself. The man is completely serious this time. Kandagawa's last resort, his secret weapon as he puts it, is head chef of Kakurin in Osaka. His name, Yasuhiko Yoshida. Firstly, I was surprised to see this man using knives with both hands. He uses his left hand for speed and power, whilst using his right hand for the intricate work. An ambidextrous chef. Yoshida, this man's blade work can handle anything. He's not behind Michiba in any way. I am confident of this. When he entered the field of cooking at 21, he was naturally left-handed. And since cooking knives are normally designed for right-handed people, Yoshida custom-ordered a knife for left-handed use and perfected his skills. But when, at the age of 30, he met Kandagawa, he was given a little lecture by the boss like this. If you are left-handed, you push the knife to slice raw fish, which damages the texture of the fish. You should be right-handed to prepare sashimi well. Those words motivated Yoshida to work on using his right hand, and he ultimately qualified for the post of head chef. I have never seen a cook who uses both hands equally well. With blade work this good, he is amongst the best of Kandagawa's men. Now, Yoshida, you're both right-handed and left-handed, but will just one pair of hands be enough to save your boss's skin? For the name of my boss, I'll win for sure. Yoshida, my boy. The do Doubt! You can win!
Toshiro Kanagawa giving one of his men a last shot today. Should be a hotly contested affair. And joining us once again is the lovely Mayuko Takata. Yes, nice to have you here. Pleasure to be here. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Doc? Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga. Kandagawa Natsu no Jim. Arekara Nikanget. Futabi Ano Otoko ga Ungoki Dashimashita. もしこれで負けたなら自分が道場を倒しにやってくる関西のドンにそこまで言わしめるほどのすご腕の料理人噂の両党使いとやらをとくと見せてもらおうではありません。さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください。神田川軍
Oh, look at that. And here, the wow. east, they cut open from the back, while in the west, from the underbelly. Yeah, well, samurai in the east didn't want the belly cut because it kind of insinuated suicide. Okay, and you could say Yoshida's a switch cutter, so to speak. <laughs> He's very good. And here's the blade work left-handed with the razor. It's very quick, too. You just don't see lefties in the cooking arena. No, only about one out of a thousand, really. And the knives are designed for right-handed people. Which is why he had to learn to cut from the right side. I guess so. It's like golf. You know, the clubs usually are for right-handers. Yes, so. but they do have clubs for lefties. They do. They okay. do, sure. Now to the Iron Chef, back in familiar setting today, working with assistants so he can undertake the writing of his menu, and that's what he's doing right now. And let's see here. One, two, three items so far. Mm -hmm. Meantime, on the other side, a pot is boiling, and... Already, you've got some eels going into the broiling mm -hmm. oven over there, still moving. Yeah. <laughs> and Doc, uh, different approaches to eel between the Kansai and Kanto. Yeah, in eastern Japan or Kanto, they steam it before dipping it into the sauce to grill it. And in the west or the Kansai area, they skip the steaming part and go for the grilling right off the bat. One region steams, the other doesn't. Right. Okay, Michiba now looks like the menu's done, the writing of it. Uh, don't know, can't tell how many no, dishes he's got can't there. can't see all of them. Well, at least four, I think, four by four. <laughs> I think so. Could be five over there. Yeah, it could be. All right, so around five items that Michiba will go for. The dish is more or less the type that can be prepared at home, so it could be a pretty Fukushan. instructive day for the viewers. Mm. Yes, from the floor, Shinichiro Ota, go. I asked Challenger Yoshida what he thinks of the theme ingredient, and very seriously, he replied, mm, I hope I can win. Not sure what that means, <laughs> but it probably has deep significance. Well, of course, a little understating there, hoping to end this string of three losses by Kandagawa-backed challengers. The Don has stated, even certified, he'll come in and battle if Yoshida loses, but Yoshida would like to be the one who drops wow. Michiba. What Look do you that. call this? Oh, uh, that's just bone cutting. Okay. It's just like oh. pike eel. Right? Now he's slicing oh, yes. right-handed. Yeah, he's bone cutting with the right. Filleting with the left, switching over to his right for the bone cutting here. The man's very fast. So already in the early going, getting a look from both sides of the cutting board from the challenger here. So fast. <laughs> that is so quick, yeah. Wow. All right, well, before the battle, I asked him how he uses his left and right hands for cutting. He said he uses his left for speed or power and uses his right for delicate or very fine cutting. Oh. Okay, and he's, he's graceful with both, and his, his movements are so smooth, aren't they? That's yes, nice. and Kanagawa giving his nod of approval, likes what he's seeing. <laughs> yeah, he's looking rather relaxed for a change. Well, he said earlier, absolutely, Yoshida can beat Michiba today. Oh, look at this. Okay, Eastern wow. style right there. Yeah, opening it up from the back, you're right. Oh, mm -hmm. really? The opposite right. way. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Incredible. The same Japanese cuisine, but completely different tacks here to cutting the fish open. That's yeah. right. All right, now Yoshida and getting something deep frying here at a pretty good temperature, throwing a little bit more of it on in right now. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is exactly, but he's coated it with flour or something for okay. frying. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, new information from the challenger side. He's not throwing away the spines of the eels. He's keeping those for some other purpose, and also he has his rice cooker going. Keeping the spines on the challenger side right there. All right, thanks, Ota. Okay, he's planning to use every part of the eel, the bone and the skin as well. Oh, okay. my Whoa. goodness, wow. Michiba. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is one way to do it. Right. Wow, just taking it and chopping it into two inches, <laughs> two inch pieces there. My yeah, I goodness. think probably for stewing. Oh, yes. You know, they make rice porridge with eel and eggs like that in Kyoto. Y you're right, yeah. And they yeah. cut the eel like this for the stew. Yeah, but somehow I don't think this will be a rice porridge, though. You don't think so? I'm thinking it's probably more like a stew with burdock and maybe some other vegetables. Okay, and right know. there, oh. going for the innards. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what's going on over here? Mm. He's... Fukuzan! Yes! Yeah, an interesting note from the Iron Chef side. One of the eels still had a hook in its mouth, apparently from when it was caught in the wild. <laughs> Incredible! Oh, right. Okay, well, that's My not goodness. so su surprising because, you know, being natural eels, Okay, you know? eel caught in their natural freshwater habitat. Uh, oh. Hard to get these days. Yeah, this oh, is probably yeah, from the Tone River. Yes, look right two of them. there. Yeah. My goodness. These are great eels, though, from the Tone River. So. Okay, and Yoshida... Two with the innards right there, going for the liver, I, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. yeah. Okay, often the liver used for making the stock for a soup. Yeah, that's very common. And that's the liver that he took out. He could also use it for, like, maybe a grilled item, something like that. Oh, okay. right. I think it's really good grilled. Fukuzan? Mm. Yes, go ahead, Ota. Yeah, speaking of the liver of the eel, Iron Chef Michiba has also saved some for himself. That's right. <laughs> no need to discard anything from these eels. No, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, and some... Uh, Backbone pieces are oh. in there being deep fried. Yeah, oh. you're right, frying them up. And very crunchy they yeah, shall be. They yeah, like bone crackers, right? Maybe for an like appetizer or a garnish. Oh, mm. very crispy. Yeah. Look at him already sweating up a storm. <laughs> oh, look at him. I mean, My beads goodness. of sweat rolling down his face. Looks like he's run a couple of miles. 
on. Yes, yeah, Ota, go ahead. Yeah, speaking of the liver of the eel, Iron Chef Michiba has also saved some for himself. That's right. No need to discard anything from these eel. No, that's for sure. And some of the backbone pieces in there being deep fried. Yep, frying them up right now. Very crunchy they'll be. Oh, yeah, yeah, like bone crackers. Yeah, Maybe for crispy. an appetizer or a garnish. Mm hmm. All right, and look at him already sweating up a storm oh, there. Look at him. <laughs> I mean, beads of sweat rolling down his face. Looks like he's just run a couple of miles. Wow. 15 minutes. Oh All right. Yes. And right now, Ota's ready for a few words with Kandagawa. Take it. Okay, thank you, Kandagawa-san. As you watch your go-to guy working away, how's he doing? You know, I'm so confident about winning today. His skills, his movements are totally different. And that means? Well, he's much better than Michiba-san. So no doubt about a win. I am full of confidence today. Okay, and how about a few words of encouragement for him? Yoshida, go get him. Don't give up. I did my best. Do it. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you. And with that, I'll send it back to you, Fukui-san. All right, thanks, Ota. And look at that. Still incredible. I have not seen anyone sweat like that in all the battles we've had in here. And the bad news for him is we're only one-third of the way through this. And you know, it's not that hot in here. It's actually quite comfortable. Him sweating that much means something. That means he's gone all out from the get-go. Yeah, he's very focused. All right. And meantime, while Kandagawa was speaking, I think I saw me. Chiba throws something into the pot over there. Yeah, well, in a pressure cooker, he put the eel, well, maybe not the eels yet, but at least the uh, burdocks and the carrots are in there. All right, they're oh, into a pressure cooker. That one cooker. right there, yeah. yeah. One, okay, right, that would soften right. the bones enough mm -hmm. to the point where you could eat them. Right. Mm -hmm. So maybe for a stew? That's a good guess, yeah. All right, now back to Yoshida, and here's one looking um, cooked oh, right there. Yeah, yeah grilled, grilled there. Grilled. Yeah. And again, Kansai style, pass on the steaming. Right, in Kansai, they don't steam it beforehand. They do not so. steam it. So normally for grilled, Deal. Hey, this what? one here, he's got, he's putting, putting it in the steamer. Really? Hmm. And what's that all about? Uh, means he'll do it Eastern style in flavor, I guess. Okay, he's gonna compete straight up with that oh, one against yes. Michiba. Okay, now you see the ones that he just chopped up there? Uh -huh. I think that will be mixed with rice. Oh yes, I've had it like that once before. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Eel rice. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's very traditional, mixing cooked eel into the cooked rice. All right, oh, and he continues moving about rapid pace. Now Michiba's over it here. Yeah, he's got his food processor. What did you just put in? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, inside this food processor that you're looking at and wondering about, he has yams and egg whites. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm an egg white. Got okay. it. Okay, so I think I know what this is. Well, this mix may be go gonna go over some eel? Yeah, exactly. All exactly. right, hey, dueling processors. And what is this? <laughs> oh. Yes, go ahead. Yes, as you can see, the challenger has his food processor going as well. It contains tofu, yams, and some kind of flour. I'll try and get that uh, detail for you a little bit later. And standing by, he has caviar. All right, oh, wow. and I think he added some uh, soy sauce and sweet cooking sake, and now Michiba with the matsutake mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Wow, Didn't know they were out expensive. already. Uh, just started. It's the summer harvest, so these are the first ones, and very expensive. Oh, wow. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, I've confirmed that the challenger also has matsutake mushrooms to include in his dishes. Oh, oh. my. They're <laughs> right. the same ingredients. He's going to go for them, too. Yeah, very yeah. similar approaches, these guys. Yeah, and the yams, too, right? Yeah, and come to think of it, yams are are almost a must-have when cooking eel dishes. Oh, really? Yeah, so we can't really blame these guys for looking similar so far. It is the same Japanese food, after okay, all. Okay, now Yoshida's gotten his mix out and now packing it here. Okay, that's interesting. I think I'd have to almost guarantee this is for steaming. And then, no, they're going to chill it, right? Steam it, then chill it? Yeah, uh, exactly. And, and then the caviar on top? Oh, good call, takata -san. You guys are in agreement today. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we're on the same wavelength these days. <laughs> You're turning into an expert here, <laughs> becoming a real pro. <laughs> oh, no, not, not All right. exactly. Hey, Yoshida's eel, the one being steamed. Oh, steaming it, okay. The uh -huh. eel he's steaming, he will maybe grill that one later? Oh, I got it, I got it. This one will go on top, right? And then the caviar. And then the caviar, right? Uh, all right, whatever you guys say now. Back to Michiba, <laughs> up close on the fried pieces of eel there. And he's going to steam these now to get rid of the grease. And now Yoshida uh, mixing uh, here. Uh, muscat, muscat grapes. Mm -hmm. right? okay. That's very surprising, actually. Okay, and now a spoonful of another liquid into the mix right there. So it'll be something kind of sour, sweet, and bitter. So he's going to combine all the elements today. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, well, what's also in there in that one? Um, daikon, I think, maybe. Okay, grated yeah, right. daikon. It looked like it, yeah. What a Combo. Go figure that out. Kind of rare combination, never heard of it. <laughs> never seen those two before, yes. Yeah, on the Iron Chef side, Michiba-san is deep frying the eel livers that he had separated before. Oh, all frying right. them, okay. Oh, nice. So the slight bitterness is what the gourmets appreciate. Okay, here. the deep fried livers coming out, up and over, okay. now back oh, with the challenger. Lotus leaves, lotus leaves yeah. Mm. Onto it, the daikon and, muscat. Right, yeah. and the fried ones are chopped up, right? Yeah, and marinated, right? Okay, uh -huh. with the muscat there. That'll add some natural sourness to it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and the Iron what? Chef, what's he doing? Steaming? The ones he fried, is he's mm. cooking them again? Is that what's going on? Sure looks like mm. it over there. Yeah. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, no, these are different from the steamed ones, I believe. Oh, they're separate ones. Okay. Oh. Sorry All about right. that. So a little saute action with these. Don't ask me their history. <laughs> it does smell good, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're just a few moments away from the halfway point of this one, an all-encompassing eel battle. Yes, there it is, lost. 30 minutes to go. Iron Chef Michiba, Kandagawa and company on the other side. Yoshida is the man today charged with the mission of taking Michiba down. And I noticed the challenger using ground cherry for some kind of decoration as oh, well. Yeah, from before he put it in uh, with the fried bones. Oh, hmm. the bones, okay. All right. That looks quite good, doesn't okay, it? Okay, and see there, he's added some bone crackers and overall a very nice uh, visual appeal here. Yeah, some oh, lotus yes. roots too, I believe. Oh, oh, it's lovely. Hey, look, Kandagawa, oh. he's taking mm. names. <laughs> At least making notes of some kind. Eyeballing the Iron Chef as he's writing that stuff down. Just what the heck is he up to? Mm, well, isn't this called spying? <laughs> some intelligence gathering. Yeah, but what for, though? Well, not exactly a covert operation. Out in the open, everyone can see now the pad goes down. Uh, this is where maybe he should be focusing his attention. His man, Yoshida, and there's the dish. Looks like the grilled eel getting a spoonful of the of the paste. That's the yam potato one, I think, going down. Yeah, you're right. Very French looking tidbit, bite-sized with the yam paste on it. Mm -hmm. Now to the Iron Chef. Oh, okay, is this Michiba sea like eel? That. No, just plain eel. Yeah, Sorry. just eel. This right. was the fried one. Right, and he's mincing them into such small pieces. Now, if what? my memory serves me correctly, in the sea eel battle, I think he did the same thing, mixing it into rice. Uh, oh. oh, look, look. Oh, yeah. Right in a stew pot right there. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Hmm. So, so there's burdock, carrots, and... Um, an Iron and Chef side. An eel. It's cut mm -hmm. into barrel shapes. Yeah, right? it is almost it's like It's a barrel. stew right there, but such big pieces. Yeah. yeah. The Eel, carrots, all of them. Yeah. I guess he's going for impact upon you know when it comes it, time to serve it. I okay. think so too. I, I think he's going to put everything onto a big plate. Hey, right? caviar going down. Oh, there we go. Looking good. And okra. Yeah, okay. okra, caviar. And wow. wasabi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Want to wolf wow. that one down right now? <laughs> yes. Definitely. Now yeah, to the other yummy. side. Iron Chef Two's broken out the caviar. Anything you can do, Yoshida-san, I can do just as well. <laughs> Not gonna pull a fast one on me. <laughs> saying the Iron Chef. Oh, and Kandagawa-san's um, in there once again. Look at him. Acting up again, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Speaking of Kandagawa-san, who just returned to his own side from a little spying mission in Michiba's corner, told the challenger, quote, Michiba has some pretty noteworthy dishes over there. So what does that mean? I mean, announcing that as some sort of hint to Yoshida? Isn't that against the rules to give advice? That's yeah. kind of skirting the sense of sportsmanship, <laughs> almost okay. bordering on an infraction. Okay, I'm, uh, he isn't uh, helping to make the dishes, but mm. that statement there kind of cuts it close. Okay, well, I guess we, he got off on a technicality on that one. All right. And now this, this earthen pot you see is for stewing turtle meat. All right, well, what do you think he's got? What's in there? Maybe uh, just some broth, I think. Broth, I think. Yeah. Or possibly right. some sake from the color consistency, maybe. It could oh. be a turtle meat broth. I'm not sure quite yet. Could it be rice that's going to go into this? Or? Mm -hmm. Could be eggs as oh, well. He was steaming rice. Really? I mean, um, you're not missing anything, are you? <laughs> Instant recall. <laughs> I, I was just hoping to have some rice porridge with the eel fillet. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, ordering up a dish now, huh? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's finishing up one item here. Okay, this is this one is the one with the tofu. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Steamed, and Takata-san, I recall, you said it would be chilled after this. Well, yes, I still think so. Well, I, it can't be served hot, I don't think. Two peas in a pod, you two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Harmonic <laughs> convergence. And look at this guy. No My let up. Furious goodness. pace from the start and the sweat. Now, big beads rolling down his face. I tell you what, even the camera guys are having a tough time keeping up with the action on both <laughs> sides. Someone hand that man a towel, well, it please. It must be really tough down there for them. All 20 right. Minutes 20 minutes go. left now. Back with me, Chiba. So the Iron Chef is going to decorate a big plate here. Big bowl here with the stewed items. Very simple and bold. Yeah, he said he'd do some home cooked style. Cooking that today, way, right? presenting it too. Looks like something you would see at home now. Deep frying more. This is on the challenge side, the, I, the tofu one? Yeah, frying them up. Um, excuse me, I'm the one who said he'd chill it? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're it's cut up and being fried now. Oh. I think I agreed too. Whoops. Ah, uh, yes, you hey, did. I didn't make a call. <laughs> <laughs> see, we're like twins but now. <laughs> what's he doing frying this though? Um, sweet and sour sauce over it? Or? I don't know. I don't see that coming. Well, she could be right. Chillin's out, so if he doesn't go sweet and sour, you could be knocked back twice on one dish. Uh -oh. <laughs> 
And deep frying more. This is on the challenger side, the tofu one? Uh, yep, frying it up. Uh, excuse me, I'm the one who said he'd chill it? <laughs> well, it's been cut up and being fried. Yeah, I think oh. I agreed with you on that one. Oh, yes you did, we're like twins now. Hey, <laughs> I didn't make any call. But what's he doing frying this one? Um, sweet and sour sauce over it? Or? Mm, I don't know, I don't see that coming. Well, she could be right. Well, chilling's out, so if he doesn't go sweet and sour, you could be, you could be knocked back twice oh. there on one dish. <laughs> oh my, this is sweet looking though. Deep mm. fried tofu, yam concoction, and now the rice. The lid is off, it's done and being broken up. All that action, both those on the challenger side. Now the Iron Chef side too. Yeah, the Iron Chef also has rice. They're getting theirs Jeez. out, and once again, they've matched these guys almost seemingly just like you two also. <laughs> oh yeah. On the same wavelength, cooking to the same beat, the challenger and Michiba. Kukuzan. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, as you just saw, both chef's rice is ready. The latest word is that the challenger will use some of his in a rice porridge dish. All right, oh, way to hi. stay on top of it. Oh, okay, so Takata-san was right. Yeah, just like I wanted. You got it, <laughs> Yoshida's going for you, you're the swing boat today. <laughs> now, how do you suppose Michib is going to use the rice on his side? takata um, what do you think? I think he'll mix the eel into the rice. I think so too, yeah. You two right. are locked on. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, is he making sushi or? Uh, some rice balls, I think. Oh, and bamboo. Wrapping them up yeah. there. Okay. Small oh, bamboo wrapped rice balls and wow. now being topped by this mixture here. Uh-huh. Right. And um, Japanese pepper on top? Yeah, he, he once fried some with Japanese pepper, right? Right, yes, and minced them and mixed Japanese pepper in with it. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Some pretty intricate work right there mm -hmm. by Michiba. So fried, minced, and mixed with Japanese pepper. This would be so good. Okay, now mm. back to the challenger side here. Now, would, is this the item that you predicted to be chilled? Oh, no. The fried item now, right? I'm betting he'll pour sweet and sour sauce over it. Uh, I don't know. But I see they're on paper. Uh, so yeah, they're on what paper. What do you surmise from that? Uh, it's not going to be sweet and sour sauce. Well, okay. It means Any, he's already done with it. Any then. other idea? Uh, well, one possibility is he could have a sauce separately and almost as a dip, I guess. Now that I can oh, see. Oh, yes. it's okay. just a dip. And mm -hmm. Michiba here, very hearty. Yo, this is a very typical With soup. Sliced here. matsutake mushrooms and giving it a little stir. Go. 15 minutes left in now the, the battle. The question Fukuzan. is here is how he's going to combine the eel. Go. Yeah, evidently this already has eel in it. Okay, already. Oh. Okay, so the rice porridge then, right here? Right here, Yoshida's, and that looks fine. So mm. eel and rice porridge. And now mm. what's he adding here? Uh, bean curd, yeah. Okay, right. floating on top there. So it's a classic eel recipe. Okay, and base. he adds the matsutake mushrooms. Very expensive oh, mushrooms. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, mm -hmm. now. Oh there, oh, there goes the eel. Yes, okay. amazing how it's all come together in just a matter of 10, 15 yeah. seconds. Fukuzan? Go. Yeah, as the menus on both sides are taking shape, Kandagawa-san commenting on the challenger's dishes in particular was saying, some are brand new recipes, quite sophisticated. He's on his way to a victory. I just know it. Though it's hard to tell, I think he's pleased. Well. <laughs> what else could he say? Oh, Can't say anything else. He's come this far with Yoshida. Yoshida trying to be the one here. Won't be because of lack of effort. Look at him. Yeah. Now take a look at the Iron Chef here. All right. He's pouring the grated yams on. Yes, and he's got a little caviar topping there. Oh, yes, he yeah, does. Do yams and caviar go well together? The Challenger also has the same combination. Yes, actually they match quite well. And both of them working that same combination. Very similar approaches on both sides of the kitchen today. Yes, very similar. Fukuzan! Yes. Yeah, I told the Iron Chef that the challenger has something very similar on his side, and Michiba-san said, hmm, that man really knows what he's doing. As he was answering, he looked and sounded a little less confident than usual. All right, mm. thank you, Ota. So Michiba feeling the pressure being applied by a youthful chef of very high caliber. And the Iron Chef, he's been around the block. Obviously, he knows Kondagawa's not going to be bringing in any pushover in this, the Five fourth go at him. Go. Five minutes left in the battle now. There's your rice porridge. And boy, it's been transformed from what it was a few minutes ago. Does he have eggs in it yet? Not sure, I'd definitely like There's to try no this. Eggs yet? Didn't see him add that. Usually you add beaten eggs to this, right? The Iron Chef's dishes are actually looking quite Western today. Wow, mm. this and looks so like good. Just like that, done on this mm. one. It looks almost like roast chicken or yeah, something. Right, yeah. right. right. You wouldn't imagine this is eel at first glance. You know, and you can still, this is a dish you can make at home. Nice you know? looking right. dish too, very fresh, refreshing. Uh, one to boost your appetite in summer. That's what eels are said to do in the hot, humid summer. These dishes on both sides are gonna be doing that today. Oh, definitely, no doubt. They all look so good, don't they? Yeah, they are getting me refreshed just looking at them. <laughs> wow, look at the Iron Chef. 
Oh, that looks great, doesn't oh, it? it? Yes, so Iron serene. Chef Michiba, as always, his presentation, oh, another yeah. sterling effort, sophistication without pretense, a celebration of the season right there in the presentation of that one. Wow. Now back on the challenger side, Yoshida too, giving the Iron Chef well, all he can handle presentation-wise. Yeah, and now he's not behind Michiba A minute to go, the final 60 seconds, three times before Kandagawa's brought in a challenger, three strikes, you should be out, but the chairman's giving him a fourth opportunity, and today Yoshida, the ambidextrous switch-cutting chef, relentless in his pursuit of toppling the Iron Chef. But is he finished? He looks to be a done deal on that side. One of the last pots there are coming off the stove. Would have to say he's expended the most energy of any chef we've seen in here, or at least he's sweated the most. <laughs> Roksaburo Michiba, cool as the other side of the pillow. The Iron Chef in control as always. Less than 15 seconds, getting in some last slicing there. Yoshida, he's been slicing and dicing from both sides of the board. The dawn Five of Western seconds. Japan, hoping Three, the fourth time's two, a charm. The final one. seconds are counting down, and that's it. The eel battle's over. During that one hour, you were really perspiring. Any thoughts on that? <laughs> well, it was fun. <laughs> okay. And how did your dishes turn out? Uh, well, good, I think. Great. Yeah. And Kanagawa-san? Yes. You watched them fight it out for 60 minutes. Your comments? Well, he'll win for sure, by far. By far? You know, right from filleting the eel, my guy was way ahead. Really? And taste-wise, he's much more creative than the Iron Chef. Okay, you did a little spying on Michiba-san. Yes. What about his dishes? The Iron Chef did a good job, but uh, this time it's not going to be so easy for Michiba-san. How do you feel after that hour? Well, yeah. Yes? Mm, I'm satisfied with the quality of my work. Yeah. So how would you rate your dishes today? Uh, 95. 95? 96, because my name is Roku. Okay, is 96 is better. Challenger Yoshida is offering five dishes. First, marinated fried eel. The combination of the frog-shaped cucumber and muscat adds a soothing hint to this hors d'oeuvre. Second, steamed eel and yam. The steaming has reduced the excess fat, while the caviar adds a nice finishing touch. Third, fried eel and tofu, another refreshing dish, using daikon radish, which helps spread the flavor of the eel in the taster's mouth. Bone cracker and fried liver served in decorative hozuki. The combination of different textures is what he's emphasizing in this well-calculated dish. Last, eel and rice porridge finished with a mild broth. The pairing of yuba and matsutake mushrooms in the porridge results in a wonderful union in this, his closing dish. Iron Chef Michiba counters with five dishes of his own. First, eel and matsutake soup. It's accentuated by honeywort with kudzu starch added to the broth. Second, fried eel and yam, a teriyaki-flavored dish with the grated yam on top representing a snow-covered mountain for a refreshing dish in summer. Third, eel steak served with steamed sea urchin roe. It's the sourness of balsamic vinegar which ties together the filet and liver of eel in this dish. Eel teriyaki flakes on rice, a traditional recipe with Japanese pepper presented in a unique eye-opening style. Last is eel stew. Take whole eels chopped up in two inch pieces and pressure cooked with carrots and burdock. The result, a magnificent stew with tender and tasty eel in his closing dish. Presiding over the culinary scene in Western Japan, the Don of the Kansai, Toshiro Kandagawa. On three previous occasions, the Don's hitmen have failed in Kitchen Stadium. One last chance, the fourth go at it for today's challenger, Yasuhiko Yoshida. The switch cutting Yoshida has his knives sharpened for Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme. A fish prepared differently in Western and Eastern Japan, live eel on ice. Challenger Yoshida, his motor racing left and right, prepares a set of five dishes. Inspiration without perspiration, the Iron Chef finishes a set of five of his own. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment for the eel battle. On the panel today are novelist Tamio Kageyama, actress Mayuko Takata, and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of Challenger Yoshida. Uh, wow. This, you know. Wow. You, you carved a frog out of a cucumber on a lotus leaf. Yeah. It's so cute. This is soothing and great. This flavor is a first for me. It's very interesting. So nice. 
Well, at first glance, the EM potato looked overpowering, but I was totally wrong. With most eel dishes, the image that I get is that it's quite oily, but not with this one. Uh, I steamed them long enough uh, this time. Just one thing. I feel like I'm playing chess in a baseball stadium. The plate is too big. <laughs> mm. Well, the tofu, the fried tofu's texture is what dominates the taste buds in my mouth. And when chewing the tofu, I'm able to feel the aroma, so to speak, of the eel ever so gently in my mouth. Well, if I must say, I see too many fried items in the courses that you have served so far. And Yoshida now serving portions of his eel rice porridge. Mmm, I like this. The message of this dish, eel has a strong aroma. You did have too many fried items, in my opinion, but at the end, you finished off with a very light-flavored item. So this one is a perfect dish, being considered to us tasters. Each of his dishes did succeed in preserving the natural flavor of eel, and I did feel his determination in this level of sophistication of the dishes. He deserved a good rating from me. And now up, the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. Mmm. Ah, oh, so good. good. Subtle and so nice. This is how you finish with a soup. I want the rest of this soup all to myself before I go home. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Perfect for summer. The flavor of summer. Oh, it is. The yam served by the challenger, if I recall, was not seasoned so well. You added a touch of soy to this, while not adding anything to the steamed eel, which was very interesting, if I remember. That was a very clever decision. Uh, decisions, decisions, it all looks so good. As we all know, eel has a lot of fat to it, so after enjoying the fat-filled eel, you served us the soothing tomato to ease our greasy tummies, and then the cooked sea urchin to lift our taste buds, followed by the grounding of the bitter gourd. I'm just having fun making circles on the plate. You might have used too many ingredients in this one, if I might say so. This reminds me of a summer festival. Something families make at home on the day of a festival. The chopped up, um... Japanese peppercorns accentuate the aroma of the entire dish. The aroma spreading in my mouth is what's bringing back that summer festival flavor, right? Yeah, it could be. I wanted vinegared rice with this. With that, I think the flavor of the ingredients on top would have been heightened even further with this. Now bones being removed from the eel and he'll serve the stew. The eel almost melts right after I put it in my mouth. It melted away. It's a very nice dish. This is definitely, <clears throat> as Michiba-san said, this is home cooking. You just can't expect this at a top-class restaurant. And that is the very reason why something like this touches the souls of gourmets eating expensive food only. The Don's over 3. Will the fourth one slip away too? We'll find out. すばらしい包丁の芸術を見せてくれた今日の挑戦者。その包丁使いを見て私はつくづくと料理というものの楽しみ方の奥深さを感じました。さすが神田川敏郎が最終兵器と言い切るだけの実力はあったと思います。それで
Oh, they were so confident on the other side, but the Iron Chef wins again. The left-right cut combination of Yoshida, it didn't matter. It's the sole man of Japan, and even Kandagawa acknowledging it. All the challengers were going for naught. But now, and we've got it certified, Toshiro Kandagawa down the road. He'll have to do it himself against Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba.